purge. So no, hindi nakaka-purge ang mga cleansers, ang mga moisturizers, pati na rin yung mga niacinamide serums. Unless of course, yung mga products na to, meron sila yung Hi everyone! Kamusta kayo? My name is Jan Angelo. Welcome to my channel and mag-uusap na naman tayo about skincare, skincare, and skincare. So, make sure to keep watching. So, ang topic natin for this video guys is another highly requested topic from you all. And this is about purging versus irritation from skincare. So in this video guys, we will be discussing kung ano ba yung pinagkaiba ng purging sa irritation. And kung ano ba yung mga signs para ma-determine kung purging or irritation ba yung nangyayari sa skin ninyo. And most importantly, kapag na-determine na kung ano yung dapat gawin. So without further ado guys, let us begin. Now if gusto nyo malaman guys yung pinaka-accurate way of finding out kung purging or irritation ba yung nangyayari sa skin ninyo, there is actually a way of finding out and almost always tama yung makukuha niyong sagot. And this way is to actually consult with a board-certified dermatologist. Now again guys, the Philippine Dermatological Society or PDS is offering free consultations for you guys and hindi lang to yung mga face-to-face -face na in-person consultations but also online consultations. So kung nasan ka man sa Pilipinas guys, basta meron kang internet, you can consult with a PDS board-certified dermatologist. Punta lang kayo sa Facebook page nila guys to find out more information on how you can book your free consultation. Now, meanwhile guys, for those na gusto pang matuto in general about sa pag-purge or sa pagiging irritated ng skin natin from skincare, kunyari, gusto nyo lang malaman kung paano ba siya nangyayari, ano ba yung mga signs niya, and kung paano ba siya maiiwasan, especially kung sisimulan mo yung paggamit ng mga skincare na merong mga active ingredients. Here are some ways para matulungan kayong i-differentiate at i-determine yung purging at irritation. So, unahin muna natin yung term na purging, guys. So, according to dermatologists, ang ibig sabihin ng purge is yung reaction ng skin natin sa mga products na nagpapabilis ng skin cell turnover. Na okay, alam ko. Ano nga ba ang skin cell turnover? Well, basically, guys, ito yung cycle ng unti-unting pagbabalat ng skin natin. Yung mga old skin cells natin, naturally, chineshed yan ng katawan natin to make way for newer, younger-looking skin cells. However, guys, habang patanda tayo ng patanda, yung bilis ng pag-shed or yung pagbalat ng skin cells natin is bumabagal. And kapag bumabagal siya, guys, doon nagkakaroon ng mga skin issues such as, for example, acne. Ang isa sa mga main causes ng acne, guys, is yung pag-clog ng hair follicle or ng pores natin ng mga dead skin cells. So yung mga dead skin cells, nag-iipon-ipon siya doon sa pores natin and in the end, nagiging blackheads or whiteheads siya. And in the end, guys, kapag na-infect yan ng acne bacteria at namula, ayun na, nagiging tigyawat na siya. And this is why gumagamit tayo ng iba't-ibang mga active ingredients sa skincare natin, guys, para ma-regulate at mas mapabilis pa yung proseso ng skin cell turnover. And yung mga actives in particular na ginagamit natin include yung mga alam na alam na nating mga retinol and mga exfoliating acids like HAs and BHAs which can be easily found sa mga skincare products na available sa mga shops. While yung mga dermatologists naman guys can prescribe more intensive medications gaya ng mga retinoids, for example yung mga adapalene or tretinoin, or benzoyl peroxide. So yung mga ito guys, in their own unique and different way, tinutulungan nila yung mga skin cells natin na mag-shed ng mas mabilis. However guys, yung prosesong to, hindi siya madaling process. Na to make way for the newer skin cells sa skin natin, kailangan munang iangat palabas ng skin natin ang lahat ng mga nagtatago sa mga loob-looban niya. And this includes yung mga lumang skin cells or mga nag-mature na na skin cells as well as any acne na parating o palabas pa lang sa skin natin. Now take note guys, yung acne nagsisimula yan sa loob-looban ng skin natin as mga clogged pores na minsan hindi naman natin nakikita or napapansin. Normally yung mga ganun mabagal before sila actually lumabas sa skin natin. No kapag gumagamit ka guys ng mga products na nagpapabilis ng skin cell turnover, mas mapapabilis din yung pag-angat ng mga nagtatagong acne na to sa skin natin. 
And that is why nagkakasabay-sabayan yung paglabas nila after tayo gumamit ng mga products gaya ng mga retinol, exfoliating acids, or again yung mga pinaprescribe ng derma na retinoids or benzoyl peroxide. Which is why for some people na gumagamit ng mga tretinoin, pansinin nyo guys, for the first few weeks, minsan parang dumadami palalo yung mga whiteheads and blackheads mo na before hindi mo naman nakikita sa skin niyo. And this includes me guys, nangyari din sa akin to. On my first month of returning to tretinoin, as in, nag-purge talaga yung skin ko, parang sobrang dami ko ng whiteheads sa skin na hindi ko na siya mabilang talaga. So yun guys, yung mga actives na minensyon natin kanina, hindi sila nagkakos ng acne, pero instead, nilalabas lang nila ng mabilisan yung mga nasa loob-looba na ng skin natin to begin with. And ginagawa niya yon to make way for newer and healthier skin cells. And yung prosesong yun guys, is yung tinatawag nating purging. Now take note nyo to guys, purging can only happen with products na nagpapabilis ng skin cell turnover. Anything other than that guys, hindi siya nakaka-purge. So no, hindi nakaka-purge ang mga cleansers, ang mga moisturizers, pati na rin yung mga niacinamide serums. Unless of course, yung mga products na to, meron sila yung active ingredients na minensyon natin kanina. So probably tinatanong ninyo, eh bakit nung gumamit ako nung cleanser na to or nung moisturizer na to, nag-breakout ako. Hindi ba purge yun? Well guys, kung nag-breakout ka after sa paggamit mo ng mga products na wala naman yung mga active ingredients na minensyon natin kanina, then it's most likely either two things. Number one, pwedeng iba naman pala yung nag-cause ng breakout ninyo. Which again, maraming factors ang pwedeng mag-cause ng breakouts guys. For example, lack of sleep, stress, pwede rin pagkain ng mga foods na high in sugar, and also, if babae ka, yung monthly na bisita. Now, ang second na pwedeng mangyari is, if sure ka dun sa product na yun talaga yung nag ng breakout ninyo, it's possible na baka irritation yung experience mo from the product, which, irritation guys, can also worsen acne. Now, another thing na makakatulong sa inyo guys to help differentiate the two issues is to actually check kung saan kayo nagkaroon ng breakout and consider nyo guys kung madalas ba kayo nagkakaroon ng acne, whiteheads, or blackheads sa area na yun. For example guys, ako, laging acne prone itong area na to ng face na to. As in, maraming tumutubo ng blackheads and whiteheads dyan from time to time. So, nung time na pinabalik ako ng derma ko sa tretinoin and dumami yung whiteheads ko dito sa cheeks ko, alam ko na purging siya. Kasi, ito yung pinaka-active spot na nagkakaroon ako ng acne. However, if nag-breakout ako, let's say, kunyari, dito sa area na to, sa mustache area, eh hindi naman ako mabilis magka-breakout dito sa area na to, then it might possibly be from irritation instead. And now na meron na kayong idea kung paano i-differentiate yung purging and yung irritation, here are a few general tips na pwede ninyong i-keep in mind para ma-minimize yung mga effects ng dalawang to. Now the first tip guys is going to be hinay-hinay lang sa mga active ingredients. No naging sakit ko rin to guys kasi as a skincare enthusiast, Meron kasi tayo talaga minsan parang na obsess tayo na kailangan nating i-incorporate lahat ng active sa skincare routine natin. When in fact guys, you don't need to put all of those actives in your skincare routine. You can just stick with one active and it can give you really really good results. So isa-isa lang guys, and more importantly, you should really really start slow. Kung baguhan ka pa lang sa isang active, kunyari, nagsimula ka gumamit ng product na merong BHA or salicylic acid, just start with it very very slowly every week. For example, magsimula ka twice a week mo lang siya gamitin. Tapos next week, gawin mong let's say three times. Tapos pag feeling mo unti-unti na siyang nakakayanan ng skin mo, then you can up it slowly, maybe make it four times a week or every other day. Now, yung mga actives kasi guys, yes, they can cause purging, but if hindi mo sila nasimulan or nagamit ng mabuti, they can also cause irritation. Malaking problema yun guys kasi hindi ka pa nga umabot sa purging stage irritated na agad yung skin mo, which is something na 
ayaw natin mangyari. Now, ang isa pang tip na tinuro sa akin ng dermatologist ko in using products na merong actives, what you can do is actually something called the sandwich method. Na yung sandwich method, guys, pwede mo siyang gawin para maging mas less irritating yung mga products with active ingredients na ilalagay mo sa skin mo. So basically, ang gagawin mo lang is, after mo mag-cleanse ng face mo, maglalagay ka ng moisturizer sa face mo. And then, dun mo ilalagay yung leave-on product na may active ingredient. And then after that, patungan mo ulit ng isa pang moisturizer. Now, using this method or technique, guys, this helps na malesen yung irritation na potentially makukuha mo doon from the active ingredient. Pero guys, if gagawin nyo to with prescription medication, make sure to discuss first with your dermatologist to see if appropriate na tong method for you. And speaking of dermatologist, guys, this leads me to tip number two. Around three to four weeks lang dapat ang purging. If sumobra or lumagpas ka na sa 3 to 4 weeks, be sure to check in with your dermatologist. Now, this is especially for those na gumagamit ng mga retinoids gaya ng tretinoin and adapalene. Kaya lagi kong sinasabi guys na it's really best na ginagamit sila under the supervision of a board-certified dermatologist. And the reason is because kapag lumagpas ka sa 3 to 4 weeks na purging process na meron pa rin nangyayari sa skin ninyo na hindi nyo alam, meron kayong matatakbuhan at merong makakatulong sa inyo para maagapan yung nangyayari. Now, isa kasi talaga sa mga goals ng dermatologists kapag pinescribe kayo ng let's say tretinoin or adapalene, aside from of course sa pag-treat sa skin condition ninyo, another goal is also to lessen the irritation or to have as least irritation as possible from the medication or the product na ibibigay nila sa inyo. So, sila rin yung makakapag-adjust ng frequency or kung gaano kadalas dapat ilagay or ipahid siya sa skin niyo. And like I said a while ago guys, sila rin kasi talaga yung makakapag-determine ng klaro kung irritation na ba talaga yung nangyayari sa skin niyo or if nagpo-purge lang kayo and part siya ng process. Which brings me to my next tip, number three, Kung nagpa-purge kayo ngayon, know that it's temporary, know that it's normal, and keep going. Lalong-lalo na kung supervised kayo ng isang dermatologist. As in, tiwala lang kayo kay Doc and tiwala lang kayo na o okay din yung skin ninyo. This is the time na pinakakailangan mong mag-trust and mag-stick sa routine ninyo. Instead of thinking na palala lang ng palala yung acne sa skin ninyo, mas isipin nyo na parang ayan na, Nagpo-purge na yung skin ko, nilalabas niya na lahat ng nagtatago sa loob-looban niya. Kaya guys, kung nagpo-purge kayo, trust in the process. And keep in mind guys, that purging happens even to the best of us and is completely normal. Like I always say sa IG stories ko guys, no one's skin is perfect 24-7. Lahat tayo merong downtime. And that should be okay. Nag-post din ako before sa IG stories ko about me purging and breaking out from my tretinoin as in, Nagka-active acne ako and sobrang daming whiteheads. Pero sabi ko lang talaga, alam mo, this is normal, acne happens. What is important is, ginagamot natin siya ngayon and purging lang to, temporary lang to. And tiwala lang talaga sa routine ko, sa binigay ng board-certified dermatologist ko. And after a month of really bad purging, guys, unti-unti, nag improve na rin yung skin ko. Kasi yung mga active acne na lumalabas, medyo nagka-clear up na siya. Yung mga scars, medyo nagla-lighten na siya. Tapos ngayon, more of issue ko talaga is yung whiteheads na sa skin ko. So there's still something to work on sa skin ko, pero that's how I know na gumagana yung threatened win. Kasi unti-unti mo nakikita yung effects. However, speaking of purge, do take note of our last tip, number four. Just because hindi ka nagpo-purge, does not mean hindi effective yung product sa iyo. Now, very important to guys kasi iba-iba din kasi talaga yung skin natin and iba-iba ang kaya nilang i-tolerate at hindi at iba-iba din ang nagiging reactions niya sa iba't ibang mga bagay. Grabe parang ilang beses ko sinabi yung iba't iba doon. Chara. Which is why it's very important guys to always observe your skin, to get to know your skin para malaman mo what your skin can and cannot tolerate. Now, if you guys have any experience when it comes to purging and irritation, as usual, you can always comment it on the comments below. And ipakita din natin na itong purging na to, hindi kayo mag-isa dito. As in, ang daming taong pinagdadaanan yung purging and or irritation sa skin nila. And as usual, guys, magchikahan tayo in the comments below. Also, if you found this video informative, please do leave me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video.
बाय